in today's class we will learn the technique to implement a full subtractor using minimum number of nor gates we know that half subtractor is a combinational circuit that performs arithmetic subtraction of two binary digits that means a half subtractor has two inputs and two outputs and they are difference and borrow this is a block diagrammatic representation of a half subtractor where we can see we have two inputs a and b and two outputs difference means d and borrow means b this is the truth table for a half subtractor now if we simplify the column of difference and borrow by using k map then we will be getting the expression for difference as a bar b plus a b bar that means the difference for a half subtractor is the zor operation between its two inputs now for borrow, we will be getting this expression a bar b. That means this is an AND operation between one input and complemented form of another input. Now, this is the logic circuit for half subtractor that we are already familiar with. I have discussed in one of my previous classes. So, these are the expressions. Now, we will go to the full subtractor. Likewise, full subtractor is also a combinational circuit that performs arithmetic subtraction of three binary digits. So we can say full subtractor has three inputs and again two outputs difference and borrow. Now this is the block diagram of a full subtractor where x, y and b, i, n which is the borrow input. Now b, i, n could be output of another circuit or another subtractor. A full subtractor can be implemented by using two half subtractors but the scope of this class is not designing a full subtractor by using half subtractor rather we will be implementing by using minimum number of NOR gates. Now this is the truth table for a full subtractor and again if we simplify the column of difference and borrow out by using k map then we will be getting the expression of difference and b out as this for difference it is the xor operation between its three inputs so it is x xor y xor b i n and for borrow output we have or operation and and operation and at the same time we have also not operation so it's x complement y and then with that we have or operation with x complement b i n and again with that we have or operation with the and operation between b i n and y now if we see the logic circuit here we have and gates we have three input or gates then we have the input or gate and as i said there will be a not operation also and altogether it will form the logic circuit of a full subtractor that we are already familiar with now we will go for implementation part which is the main part of this class so this is the logic circuit of a full subtractor using minimum number of nor gates and here we can see that we need nine nor gates to implement a full subtractor this has been already simulated so here we have used three binary inputs x y and b i n i have marked the output of every nor gate by a symbol like a b c d e f g and for difference it is d and for borrow it is b out now we will simplify for every nor gate so let's start with the first nor gate whose output is a so if x and y are two inputs of this nor gate then definitely the output at o our output of the first nor gate will be x plus y then complement of that right now we will implement for b so for this nor gate the inputs are here the one input is x and the other input is x nor y so here it will be x nor y and x between these two inputs we will have the nor operation and then for simplification of at every nor gate level we will be using de morgan's law and boolean algebra so it's like a plus b bar so it will be a bar dot b bar or a bar and b bar so it's x plus y complement it already had one complement then it will be having another complement then and operation then after and operation this x complement so this double complement as we know will cancel each other so what will remain is x plus y only then and operation and then x complement so x dot x bar plus x bar y then x and x bar will cancel each other this will become 0 
so the simplified output at second nor gate or at point b will be x bar y then we will go for the third nor gate or at point c we will find the simplified output for third nor gate this is one input the nor operation between x and y and this is another input means y so we will perform nor operation between this input and this input so that's what has been done here so x nor y and another input is y and between these two inputs we are performing here nor operation so again de morgan's law so x plus y bar it already had one complement and then another complement and then and operation and then after and operation this y complement so these two double complements will cancel each other so it will be x plus y only and then and and then y complement so y and y complement this two will cancel each other like x and x complement they cancelled each other and what will remain is x y complement so x and y complement that means the simplified output at point c will be this now we will see that what will be the simplified output at fourth nor gate or at point d so for this fourth nor gate for which we are trying to find the output at point d what are the inputs one input is x complement y and the other input is x y complement so here it will be nor operation between these two inputs x complement y and x y complement again we will apply de morgan's law so it's a plus b bar so it will be a bar and b bar now this time for each part it will be a and b complement so it will be a complement plus b complement so x complement plus y double complement because y already had one complement and then and operation between these two parts and then again we will be having here we will be applying the de morgan's law a b complement so it will be a complement plus b complement so here y double complement will become y and here x had two complements again x will become so it will become x now it is between this is and operation between x complement plus y and x plus y complement so it will be x x complement here we will have and operation which will become zero finally then we will be having x complement and y complement then it will be having x y and then y and y complement so this will again become zero so what will remain finally at the output or at point d will be x y plus x complement y complement that means this is a x nor operation between x and y so at d what is our output it is x nor operation between x and y these two inputs now we will try to find the output for fifth nor gate or at point e and for that both the inputs are one input is the output of this nor gate so it is x nor operation between x y and now the third input for this whole full subtractor which is b i n that will take part in simplification so that will now will come into play so now if we go for simplification at point e as i said or as we have seen that one input is the nor between x and y and the second input is b i n so we will have again a nor operation between this and again we will be applying that de morgan's law finally we will be getting this output what is this this is and operation between one input which is itself is zor operation between x y and the second input is complemented form of b i n now we will go for the simplification of this gate this nor gate and we will try to find the output at point f and then followed by the output at point g and then difference and then b out so for this nor gate what will be our inputs one input will be this the output of this nor gate which is the x nor operation between x and y and the second input will be this expression now when we will simplify for this point f it will be nor operation between these two inputs that we have already seen and if we now further apply de morgan's law and the concept of boolean algebra then it is again x plus y bar so it will be x bar and y bar so this thing and y bar means x xor y and complement and then we will have we will be having another complement so two complements will cancel each other and this part then within this complement 
we are having two parts here so it is a as if a and b and then complement so a b bar so it will be a bar plus b bar now finally it will be x xor y then complement and here b i n has two complements which will cancel each other likewise here two complements cancel each other so now if we multiply this two so x xor y complement and here we have x xor y so x xor y if we take that as a single input like a so a complement multiplied by a means a complement and then and operation with another a so they will cancel each other so this two finally will cancel each other because one input and complemented of that input we are we are performing here and operation between these two and then here it will be the second part will be x x or y and with that and operation with the b i n input so finally this will remain in the simplified output at point f and this part will vanish so at f we will have x x or y and with that and operation with this input b i n then at point g we have seen that this is again a nor operation between these two inputs and again by applying the de morgans and the concept of boolean algebra the way we have done so far if we simplify then finally it will be the nor operation between x y and complement of b i n and between these two we will have a and operation so this will be the output or simplified output at point g so this is the output at point g or for this nor gate now we will be simplifying for difference and b out for the full subtractor final outputs now for difference this is nor operation between this input which is the output of this nor gate at point g and this output at point f and for b out this is nor gate or nor operation between this output and this output which is at point c means x y bar so for difference as we have seen this was the nor operation between those two inputs that we have already seen in the circuit so what we can see here is this is nor operation between these two inputs x x or y and b i n this is one part this is one input and x x nor and then b i n complement so x x or y if we take as one input a and this is another input b suppose so it will be a complement and b complement so it is actually it's like this a and b plus a complement and then b complement and then whole complement so a b plus a complement b complement it itself is a x nor b and then again we have another complement so these two complements will cancel each other so what will remain is a x or b so a x or b and what is a here a itself is x x or y right and with that b and what is b here this is capital b i n or the b input the third input of our full subtractor so finally the difference will be the zor operation between the three main inputs of this full subtractor so it is x x or y x or b i n now we will go for the borrow output so this is again nor operation between those two input that we have seen in the logic circuit and now further if we simplify we will be getting this output this simplified form for b out so in this simplification for b out we don't have anything new so just go step by step you will understand by yourself the whole simplification is in front of you so in this class we have implemented a full subtractor by using only nine nor gets I hope this class was very helpful and meaningful for you. With that hope, I end today's class. Thank you.